Welcome everybody to the VSW. I'm your host, the Versace Stoner, and let's get ready to rumble! Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. I really, really do. So, tonight, we're talking about pro wrestling. That's right. Not the college wrestling, not the Olympic wrestling, but pro wrestling. More individualized, we're talking about the New England pro wrestling scene. And even closer to the home than that, I'm going to talk mostly about the NCW. So, if you don't know anything about New England wrestling... There's a lot of talent out there, tons. And a lot of talent gets picked up by big, giant promotions. Yep, that's right. WWE has grabbed people from New England. Most recently, probably, I can think of would be former Limitless champion, Evolve superstar, Anthony Green, got picked up by WWE. And is now August Gray on 205 Live. That's just one guy, though. There's tons of talent that's been picked up over the years. And there's a lot of talent out there that should be on TV. Those are kind of who I'm going to talk about. One. First person coming to mind. Isana. The suplex sweetheart. She is amazing in the ring. Didn't get to see much of her in 2020 except her captain in the OCW... Women's Championship in OCW and her match in NCW. Um, both early on in the year last year into 20, hoping to catch her into 21. Every time I do, though, always a show. Very athletic, very powerful, just just unbelievable. The reigning champion over there, Vern Vincalo, another top-notch superstar. Had a great match with Channing Thomas. Only match I got to see last year of them, though, unfortunately. But they burnt down that house. I mean, that was just an incredible match with an incredible ending. If you you were there, you would know. Um, You know, you got this great tag team duo of Stephen Lust and Stephen Lambert. The Middlesex Express. The epitome of what tag team wrestling is. New England's this proudest tag team. Two chuds, really. You know, amazing talent as a tag team. And, you know, even as singles, they they defy it. Um, Steven Lust, I've seen him do many matches singly. Even taking on Isana in a... And that matchup was just... The chemistry in that match was just amazing um, between the two of them. And Lambert, he has kind of redefined himself with as Pimp Daddy Apple Cinnamon, and he's just been killing it. Between his promos, his over-the-top just wildness, and his great athletic ability, he kills it every time he's out there. You know, I was so happy to see these guys over last year. I got to see them on TV. Um, I'll get back to that in a minute. Another guy that I really, really enjoy to like to watch is the other champion of NCW, Insane Dick Lane, who captured the gold at the end of 2019 from the ace, Mike Montero. He's basically like the Adam Cole of the indie scene. Him, Medeiros, Divine, they're like the Undisputed Era. You can't touch Mike Montero in Detox of the Dirt City Murder Crew. They're just top-notch superstars. But anyway, Dick Lane won the title for him. Insane Dick Lane, amazing, amazing. Just totally amazing performer. Inside and outside the ring. The way he presents himself in both promo and as a wrestler and wrestling. I don't care what people say, he, he's very well trained, he's very professional, and he slays it every time he's out there. You know, these are the people that I mark out for. It's not the WWE guys, it's not the AEW guys, New Japan, Ring of Honor, 
whoever else you want to throw me. It's these little guys that I mock out for, that I see. You know, when I saw them all over the summer on Limitless's TV shows that they were doing, you know, during the pandemic, they had it at their dojo um, training centers. They had the pandemic at the dojo in the road, um, season one and two. You know, I got to see um, Pimp Daddy Apple Cinnamon, Insane Dick Lane, and Isana wrestle there. And it was just great seeing them on TV. That's the difference. I mean, these guys are the same quality of wrestler as anybody that the WWE has right now. The only difference is opportunity and where you see them. You know, unfortunately, a lot of these guys don't get the opportunity to be shown to millions and millions of fans. They don't get their merch thrown in a multi-billion dollar store that can just, you know, that's a money-making machine. They don't have that advertisement power behind all that. So they just get kind of shuffled back. Yes, there's people that make it. Yes, there's people that break out. There's people that can do it, but it's very, very few. But if you have the right opportunity, you get in right in front of the right crowd, you, the right people see you, the right promoter, you get into the right promotion, you can go very far in this business. Um, you know, these are some of the guys that I really, really like. You got Brett Ryan Goslin, also out of the NCW, just kills it. This young kid, young, really young, he's got all the ability to be the next world champion of the WWE. He's got the, you know, he's just. How he presents himself, just as a heel, amazing heel work. That's all I can say. Um, you know, the storylines that I've seen him in is rival those that I've seen on TV on Monday nights. Um, you know, wherever these guys go, they kill the indie scene. Um, you know. And I like to thank these guys because they give it their all. They don't make this millions and millions of dollars. They don't have the endorsements behind them. They don't have action figures. Well, maybe some of them do, but they don't have these large sources of income. But they still give one hell of a show every single night that they're out there performing in front of a live audience. They are just amazing. I mean... I've met with a lot of them, like, after shows, before shows, gotten photos. Like I said, I mark out for these guys. I'll buy their merch. I will get their autographs. I will take pictures with them. If you follow me at Versace Stone and 9 on Twitter, you'll see. I'm always posting and shouting these guys out. Why? Because they deserve the recognition. And I just love to... They're just fan-friendly wrestlers. They're what... You know, you bring your, you can bring your family there. You can be an adult and go there. You can do whatever you want. You know, I've had drinks with Doc Ozone. I've had, um, you know, one of the managers there. Great guy. Tremendous guy. Um, manages Osiris, or did. Um, and the great, and one of my greatest um, wrestlers, I think, in the um, promotion of NCW, Foxy Calvin. He's just full of talent, um, young, raw talent with Ozone behind him. And, you know, and I've sat with Ozone, like I said, had drinks with him at um, intermission. Just down-to-earth guy. These people are down-to-earth. But they're probably the greatest wrestlers that you're ever going to see. on see. Um, and hopefully we see more of them on TV. Hopefully we get to see more of these people at... Um, you know, televised limitless shows or um, whatever else IWTV can offer them for for contracts that promotions can give them. You know, the biggest thing is streaming the shows. If you can get it on IWTV, then you can get out there. You can get in front of a bigger audience. You know, no longer is it in a VFW hall in a small 100, 200 people capacity. It's now, you know, you got maybe a, you got as many people that subscribe to the channel. Um, and this is how you get your, your name out there. Um, you know, moving forward this year, I'd like to ace, well, this is just the first episode of this podcast where I just kind of just shooting the shit with you, but I will hopefully be able to do interviews with a lot of these guys and other guys. Um, the first few cod- podcasts will be the independent scene and the local indie scene, um, this is a great up north, you know, up in Maine at Limitless. 
you see such superstars as, you know, you got Perry Von Vicious, um, AC Romero, Christian Casanova, the newly crowned champion, um, Basic Becca. She just became Chaotic Women's Champion, just beating Ava Everett out. You have even more talent up there. Um, combined with this area's talent, New England is just a rich wrestling community. And anybody can be the next breakout star. Like I said, um, you see them one day here at a local show, and the next day you see them on NXT. And it's happened a few times, and it's quite amazing. And I really congratulate all those people that make it that far. They're really living their dreams, and they're getting to do it. But um, I hope you've enjoyed this podcast. It's like I said, it'll be my first one. And, you know, give these guys a follow when I shout them out. Check out their matches on YouTube. Give them a shot. Maybe you'll like them, maybe you won't. But either way, give it a try. I mean, there's nothing you can do. If you're a fan of wrestling, you'll be a fan of these people. And that's what it's all about, right? Riding, opening in the horizons. Seeing new things. And just enjoying some good wrestling. But anyways, I'm the Versace Stoner. This has been a pleasure. Everybody have a great evening. Versace Stoner out.